dwells. Do not sweep away my soul with sinners, nor my, life, my life with men, with men of blood, whose hands, hands are evil plots, whose right, right hands, hands are filled with bribes. As for me, I, I walked in my integrity. integrity. Redeem me and show me your mercy. I take my stand for integrity. In the assemblies, I will bless you, O Lord. Put it on top of that box. It's fine. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. You have redeemed us from the curse of the law with your precious blood. Nailed to the cross and pierced with the lance, you have become a fountain of immortality for us. Glory to you, our Savior. Reverend Father, give the blessing. Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Amen. In remembrance of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, in remembrance of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, in remembrance of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Like a lamb led to the slaughter. Let us pray to the Lord. And like a sheep without blemish that is silent before the shearer, he opened not his mouth. Let us pray to the Lord. In his humiliation, judgment was taken against him. Let us pray to the Lord. Who shall declare his generation? Reverend Father, lift it out. the uh, worship aid, the bulletins home with you, please. Immediately following Divine Liturgy, there will be a panikita for the repose of the soul of Bodon Petrick. If you find yourself in need of water, it is next to the canter. The hymn during the Great Insensation can be found on the back of the Divine Liturgy propers, O Holy Spirit. Beginning next week, we are going to return to the indoors uh, for Divine Liturgy. Divine Liturgy will be celebrated at 5.30 on Saturday, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. on Sundays, and people will need to sign up for the liturgy they plan to attend so that we can maintain proper distancing.
the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world is being offered for the life and salvation of the world. Reverend Father Pierce. One of the soldiers pierced his side with a lance and immediately there flowed out blood and water. He who saw it has borne witness and his witness is true. In honor and memory of our most blessed lady, the Theotokos, and of a Virgin Mary, through whose prayers, O Lord, accept this sacrifice on your heavenly altar. The queen stood at your right hand, vested in robes and adorned with gold. For the honorable heavenly and angelic powers, for the honorable glorious prophet, born and Baptist John, all the holy prophets, with holy and glorious lustrous apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the holy apostles, the holy fathers, the hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, and Cyril, Nicholas, and Myra, the teachers of the Slavs, Cyril, Methodius, the holy bishop, Mar, Joseph, and all the holy hierarchs, the holy apostle, first martyr, and archdeacon, Stephen, the holy great martyrs, Demetrius, George, Theodore, the recruit, and all the holy martyrs, our venerable and godbearing fathers, Anthony, Athenia, Sabbath, and Lucrius, and all venerable men and women. The holy and charitable wonder workers, Cosmos and Damien, Cyrus and John, Pantelaimon and Hermolius, and all the charitable workers, the holy and just ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, through whose prayers, O God, watch over us. Remember, our loving, kind master, our holy father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend metropolitan William, our God loving Bishop Kurt, the entire episcopate of the true believers, the honorable presbyterate, the diaconate in Christ, and all others in holy orders. Our concelebrating brother priests and deacons, and all of our brothers and sisters, whom you and your loving kindness have called to communion with you, O most gracious Lord. Remember, Lord, all the prayer parishioners of this parish whom we offer this liturgy for today, their health, safety, salvation, the preservation of their marriages, the instruction of their young, their steadfastness and faith, their relief from pain, suffering, their relief in mourning, their deliverance from their anger. Remember as well the sick of our parish. Living. Uh, let's see, uh, Tara, Amy, Jurgen, Jerry, Pat. For the blessed Mary, mission of the sins of the founders of this holy church. Lord, remember the soul of your departed servant, Bogdan. All those who die because of violence. As well as Deacon Michael, my father Daniel. James Murray. as well, our fathers, brothers, and sisters of the true faith who have died in hope of resurrection to eternal life and in communion with you, O Lord, who love us all. Remember also, O Lord, my unworthiness and pardon my every transgressions, voluntary and involuntary. Reverend Father, bless the incense. Let us pray to the Lord. We offer incense to you, Christ our God, as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, having received it on your heavenly altar, send down upon us and return the grace of your most holy spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. The star came and stood over the place where the child was. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord reigns. He is clothed in majesty. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The world he made firm not to be moved. Your throne has stood from of old. You are, O Lord, from all eternity. The rivers have lifted up, O Lord. The rivers have lifted up their voice. The rivers will lift up their waves. Greater than the roar of mighty waters, more glorious than the surgings of the sea. The Lord is glorious on high. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. Let us pray to the Lord, Reverend Father, cover. Your glory, O Christ, has covered the heavens and the earth is filled with your praise. Let us pray to the Lord, Reverend Father, cover. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, drive away from us every enemy and foe. 
Make our life peaceful, O Lord. Have mercy on us and on your world, and save our souls, for you are good and love us all. Blessed is our God, who is thus well pleased, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. For the, for the precious, precious gifts offered, let us pray to the Lord. God, our God, have sent forth the heavenly bread as a nourishment of the whole world. Our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, the Savior, Redeemer, and Benefactor, to bless and sanctify us. Bless these gifts placed here before you, and accept them on your heavenly altar. Remember as the merciful lover of us all, those who brought the offerings, and those for whom they are being offered. And keep us blameless in the holy celebration of your divine mysteries. For sanctified and glorified is your most honored and sublime name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ our God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother and of our holy father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of all the saints. For Christ is good and loves us all. Amen. And your compassion bought out my offense. So wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sins. My offense is truly, I know that my sins are before me always. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt was I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart and the secret of my heart. Teach me wisdom, O oh, purify me, and I shall be clean and washed, and I shall be whiter present. than snow. Make me here rejoicing and gladness, so that the bones you have crushed make real. From my sins, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A clean heart, create in me, O oh God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not keep me from your presence, nor deprive me from your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help and the spirit of fervor to sustain me, that I may teach transgressions your ways, and sinners may return to you. Arrest me, my God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open up my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For in sacrifice, you take my delight for offering from me, you would refuse. My sacrifice, a humble heart, a humble contrite spirit, you will not burn. In your kindness, so favored is Zion, and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And then you'll be pleased with lawful sacrifice, burnt offerings, holy consumed, and then you'll offer young bull, then they'll offer young bull on your Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, Treasury of blessings, and giver of life, come and dwell within us, cleanse us of all stain. And save our souls, O gracious one. 
Glory to God in the highest, and to people on earth, peace and goodwill. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest, and to people on earth, peace and goodwill. O oh Lord, open my lips, lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. It is time for the Lord to act. Reverend Father, give the blessing. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Reverend Father, pray for me. May the Lord direct your steps. Reverend Father, remember me. May the me. Lord God remember you and his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Reverend Father, give the blessing. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from on high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. For our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God loving Bishop Kurt, for the venerable Presbyterate, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole lives to Christ our God. Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression. Look with compassion on us and on this holy church, O Master, and show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. The Lord will hear you on the day of distress. The name of Jacob's God will protect you. O good comforter, save us who sing to you. Amen. 
Wisdom be attentive, be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your mighty deeds. Blessed are you, O Christ, our God. You and to be all wise, sending down upon them the Holy Spirit. Through them you have caught the whole world in your net. O lover of us all, glory to to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. When the Most High descended and confused tongues, he scattered nations. When he distributed the tongues of fire, he called all to unity. We also with one voice glorify the most holy spirit. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever. And forever. have been baptized into Christ, have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia! All you who have been baptized into Christ, have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia! All you who have been baptized 
into Christ, have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. All you who have been baptized into Christ have been clothed with Christ. Alleluia. Let us be attentive. Peace be to all. Wisdom be attentive. Through all the earth their voice resounds, their message reaches to the ends of the world. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Through all the earth their voice resounds, the message reaches to the ends of the world. Wisdom. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. When the day of Pentecost came, it found the apostles gathered in one place. Suddenly, from up in the sky, there came a noise like a strong driving wind, which was heard all through the house where they were seated. Tongues as a fire appeared, which parted and came to rest on each of them. All were filled with the Holy Spirit. They began to express themselves in foreign tongues and make bold proclamation as the Spirit prompted them. Staying in Jerusalem at the time were devout Jews of every nation under heaven. These heard the sound and assembled in a large crowd. They were much confused because each one heard these men speaking in his own language. The whole occurrence astonished them. They asked in utter amazement, are not all of these men who are speaking Galileans? How is it that each of us hears them in his native tongue? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites. We live in Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, the province of Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the regions of Libya around Cyrene, there are even visitors from Rome, all Jews or those who have come over to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs too. Yet each of us hears them speaking in his own tongue and marvels about the marvels God has accomplished. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive.
Reverend Father, bless the proclaimer of the gospel of the holy apostle and evangelist John. May God, through the prayers of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostle and evangelist John, grant that you proclaim the word with great power for the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the holy gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the holy gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, on the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me. Let him drink. Who believes in me, Scripture has it, from within him rivers of living water shall flow. Here he was referring to the Spirit, whom those that came to believe in him were to receive. There was, of course, no spirit as yet, since Jesus had not yet been glorified. Some in the crowd who heard these words began to say, This must be the prophet. Others were claiming he is the Messiah, but an objection was raised. Surely the Messiah is not to come from Galilee. Does not Scripture say that the Messiah, being of David's family, is to come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? In this fashion, the crowd was sharply divided over him. Some of them even wanted to apprehend him. However, no one laid hands on him. When the temple guards came back, the chief priests and Pharisees asked them, Why did you not bring him in? No man ever spoke like that before, the guards replied. Do not tell us you too have been taken in, the Pharisees retorted. You do not see any of the Sanhedrin believing in him, do you? or the Pharisees. Only this lot that knows nothing about the law, and they are lost anyway. One of their own number, Nicodemus, the man who had come to him, spoke up to say, Since when does our law condemn any man without first hearing him and knowing the facts? Do not tell us you are a Galilean, too, they taunted him. Look it up. You will not find the prophet coming from Galilee. Jesus spoke to them once again. I am the light of the world. No follower of mine shall ever walk in darkness. No, he shall possess the light of life. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Is it going? Ah. No. What will satiate the bottomless thirst the entire world is experiencing? People are hungry, thirsty, people are ravenous, and are desperately searching for anything and everything to fill the unconscious void within them. The world is in turmoil because it is seeking deformed and selfish versions of fulfillment, love, peace, and stability, rather than those good and ordered versions given to us by God. 
It is seeking its own justice and forgetting about the God's justice. But we too are all looking for something. We are all seeking fulfillment, wholeness, direction, and someone to show us the true nature of love and patience, and not the deformed love that has caused us and the world so much pain. What we seek is the peace of Jesus Christ that flows through his church and that flows through us if we allow ourselves to be guided by the Holy Spirit. True intimacy with the Holy Trinity is what we seek. But how do we today even know that even such a God exists? How can we know about the Holy Trinity and the graces we can be blessed with when we believe in Him? We have knowledge of the Holy Trinity today because He is visible to us through the assembly He set up to be His witness. He is visible to us through and in the Catholic Church. Although the Church has not always and is not now comprised of the most saintly and the most holy people, but it has always been built and rebuilt by those who are intimate with the Holy Trinity, by those who heed the instruction and inspiration of the Most Holy Spirit, and by those who have come to drink, have, sorry, have come to Jesus to drink, and have therefore been given rivers of living water to flow from their hearts. The good news of salvation forgiveness of sins, healing, and the unconditional love of Jesus Christ have come down to us through the centuries because of the guidance of the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth. This Holy Spirit was given to those who were with Christ as He lived His earthly ministry and has supported them with a treasury of blessings so that they would have the courage, the strength, and the knowledge to spread the unaltered good news to as many people as possible. After the apostles received the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost in the form of flames above their heads, their hearts burned within them. They were confirmed in everything that Jesus had taught them. They understood the truth present in those words, and they could not contain it to themselves, but were immediately compelled to declare the great deeds of God in many different languages. Why different languages? So that not only Jews, not only Greeks, but so that the entire world could come to the same understanding of salvation that they have been given, seen, and experienced for themselves. These apostles and disciples have been given confirmation in what they experienced. They have been given the truths about our very existence. In that, the Holy Trinity created the universe created us and wants us to freely choose to live lives of grace by adhering to God's commandments. And why? So that we too will experience the indescribable joys of heaven for eternity. Jesus said, whoever follows me most surely will not walk in darkness, but rather will possess the light of life. The apostles who followed Jesus most intimately and who were given the gift of the Holy Spirit in the forms of tongues of fire possessed the light of life, which is Jesus Christ, the eternal light. This light within them illumines all darkness and exposes for them and for those whom they interact with. It exposes all the cunning and lies and hate of the devil so that all can clearly see the difference between the works of Satan and the works of God. But these apostles did not keep this light as a special attribute for themselves. They did not covet it, but they allowed this life-giving essence to shine forth from their inner person in rivers of living water. This living water was so powerful, was so life-giving, so transformative, that it was able to satiate the desires of the peoples of the world for 2,000 years and has not yet been exhausted. This is the very water that will fill the void within us, the very water that will complete and heal us. 
and after receiving it ourselves, it will then flow out from us to heal the entire world until Christ's second coming. But only if and when we allow Christ into our hearts, if and when we tear down our walls of disbelief and doubt, if and when we recognize the unalterable truths in Christ's incarnation, in his good news, in his death, in his resurrection, in his ascension, and that he gave us his mother as our greatest intercessor. It is after we believe all of these truths and we will, that we will begin to be transformed by them and that we will intentionally live by all of God's commandments. It is then that the same graces given to the apostles and disciples at Pentecost, the same fervor and given to us now at our own confirmation. And if we recommit to them today, it is then that they will become truly active in us and guide us to convert the entire world and lead all of mankind towards eternal salvation. This is the work of Jesus Christ. It is the work of the church. It is the constant work of the Holy Spirit, and it is the work of every one of us, so that, together, we may adhere to Christ's command to baptize all nations and to teach them about all of God's revealed truths, so that no one will be denied entrance into eternal paradise. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. to me, a sinner. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Again, we pray for our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kern, for those who have served and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O oh Lord and loving Master, hear our supplication, and through your grace and down your spirit of love to change the hearts of men so it's darkened by evil. Instill in our hearts the heart of loving fathers and mothers and brothers and sisters, so that we may see that each person is created in your image and likeness and is an expression of your divine glory. Lord Jesus Christ, in your mercy, grant civil rest to our city and country and banish the evil spirits of violence, hatred, and rioting. Let us seek your divine justice and not the justice of flawed man. Overlook our transgressions and shower upon us patience, humility, understanding, and peace. We pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us who represent the cherubim and see Sing the thrice holy hymn to the life creating Trinity. Now set aside, now set aside all earthly cares. And sing the thrice holy hymn. And sing the thrice holy hymn. To the life creating Trinity. Now set aside. God, remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan, William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt, the entire priestly, diaconal, monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, the ever-memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith, always, and now, and ever, and forever. Amen, that we may receive the King of all in
Sullivan. May the Lord God remember your priesthood in his kingdom. Pray for me, my Con Sullivan. May the Holy Spirit come upon you in the power of the Most High, overshadow you. May the Spirit himself consult with us all the days of our lives. Remember me, Reverend Father. The Lord remember you in his kingdom always, now and ever and forever. Amen. For the precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God Almighty, who alone are holy and receive the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart, accept also the prayer of us sinners, bring us to your holy altar, enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the people's failings. Make us worthy to find favor in your sight, that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest on us, on these gifts here present, and on all your people. Grant this through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in and undivided. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only, only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive to offer the holy anaphora and peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. 
let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you are God ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non-existence into being and again raised us up when we had fallen and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. also cry out with these blessed powers, O loving and kind Master, and say, Holy are you, and all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, and all holy, and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf on the night he was betrayed, or rather, when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all-pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, and we pray to you, O God. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual and unbloody sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us, 
and upon these gifts lying before us. Reverend Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Reverend Father, bless the holy chalice. And that which is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Reverend Father, bless both. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That for those who partake of them may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Bless us our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. So, Lord, that in their tranquility, in the calm and quiet life, and all piety and holiness. Of our of virgins and mothers, even the most sophisticated rhetoric fails to praise you worthily. And every mind spins when it considers how you gave birth. Therefore we with one voice glorify you. Among the first, O Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan, William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, O Lord, this city in which we dwell, and every city and community, and the faithful living in them. Remember, O Lord, those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor. And upon all of us send down your mercies, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. May the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a, fear, for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you. 
To you, O Master, who love us all, we commit our whole life and hope, and we implore, pray, and entreat you. Make us worthy to partake with a clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation dare call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. We give you thanks, O invisible King, for by your immeasurable power you have fashioned all things, and in the greatness of your mercy have brought all things out of non-existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth for the good of all the path that lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, cure those who are sick, O physician of souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. One is holy, 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 holy,
that, that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. Praise Him in the highest. Praise Him in the highest. Alleluia. veterans here, but uh, just reminders of how we'll do communion. Uh, we'll have two lines, and then of course everyone please come up uh, in your, in your, with your, you know, your family units. And also we will have uh, a gluten-free chalice over here. Um, Deacon Candidate George will uh, be uh, distributing that. So again, if you, are, if you have a gluten intolerance and need to only receive the precious blood, uh, that will be over here with uh, Deacon Candidate George, which he may not have been aware of, but he is now, so <laughs> anyway. Uh, it's Byzantine. Um, so, oh right, and, and please open your mouth very wide, tilt your head back slightly. There's nothing, no need, no need to say a prayer. The priest will say, or the deacon will say uh, the prayer for you. And, uh, and again, we're going to sterilize the spoon after every individual. All right. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. Alleluia, alleluia. Approach with the fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just, give answer. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Do not 
not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The enemy pursues my soul, he has crushed my life to the ground. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. He has made me dwell in darkness like the dead long forgotten. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Before my spirit fails, my heart is numb within me. Alleluia, Alleluia. Remember the days that are past, I ponder all your works. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I muse on what your hand has wrought, and to you I stretch out my hands. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Alleluia, In your 
justice save my soul from distress. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. In your love make an end of my foes, destroy all those who oppress me, for I am your servant, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let the sons of Israel say, His love endures forever. Alleluia. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and freed me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is at my side, I do not fear. What can man do against me? Alleluia, Alleluia. is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is my strength and my song. He was my Savior. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord's right hand has triumphed, his right hand raised me. Alleluia, Alleluia. right hand has triumphed. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
Behold, this has touched your lips. We'll take away your iniquities and we'll cleanse you of all of your sins. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided trinity. For the trinity has saved us. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, and let your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, and let your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, and let your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory, for you now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life-creating, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Okay. Long book inside. It's just on there. We thank you, O Master, benefactor of our souls who love us all, that this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries through the prayers and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. Make straight our path, confirm us all in fear of you, guard our life and safeguard our steps. For you are our sanctification and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Christ, after your suffering and resurrection, you built your ascent into the heavens, which you had lowered when you descended to become flesh from the Virgin for our sakes. You established your promise on earth by sending your comforting spirit upon your apostles, as you have established an all-holy unity in them, and in those who through them have faith in your steadfast presence and sustain the church by his manifold gifts. Do not take away these gifts from us as our sins deserve, but put to death all carnal desires in us that would hinder the coming of the Spirit. Drive out from us any thought, word, or deed that would grieve him and any hindering evil passion that would make our souls dark with the loss of his light. Make us pure vessels of his glory that we might be like the upper room in Zion, full of his brightness. Show us to be thrones of the spiritual fire, with like your apostles who received his first fruits, that by his support we may be led into the holy land of your immortality and blessed promise. The whole world then is full of joy in you and continually glorifies you, for you are most glorious together with your co-eternal Father and your co-eternal, all-holy, good, and life-creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be the name of the Lord, now Amen. and forever. Blessed be the name
blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. Amen. So as we know, today is the glorious feast of Pentecost, the descent of the Holy Spirit. And uh, because it is the glorious feast of Pentecost, there is no fasting this week. Um, I, I don't know about the Roman rite, but for those inscribed in the Ruthenian Byzantine Church, uh, Friday is a fast-free day. So it's similar to uh, uh, the Pascha week. Uh, so no fasting this Friday. Um, also, me, uh, after, no, we're going to have our, your, our bring your own picnic if you brought it. And then uh, after the picnic, approximately 1 o'clock or a little earlier if, if things are going that way, uh, we'll, we'll go enter into the church for uh, the kneeling vespers. And so as I explained before, uh, during the whole Paschal season, we do not kneel in our prayers and we omit the prayer to the Holy Spirit, which of course is the first thing that we did at Divine Liturgy this morning, uh, as we prayed again uh, that prayer to the Holy Spirit. Uh, and and these, these kneeling vespers, these kneeling prayers are really wonderful. It's really almost like a, uh, uh, an, 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 uh, an invitation again uh, to ask the Holy Spirit to come down upon us and to uh, uh, give us what we need for our ministry as, as Catholics, as Christians. Uh, so it's a very beautiful uh, Vespers. Um, so everyone's invited to that, of course. And, okay, so, oh, yes, what we had, I know it was announced, um, but this will be our last outdoor liturgy because we, we need to go back inside, and so I think it's time for that. But in order to accommodate everything appropriately, we're going to add an extra liturgy. Now, this is only temporary because uh, we want to get back to our normal schedule uh, whenever that's possible, but we're adding another liturgy at 1 p.m. And so, because uh, we want to keep our normal schedule, and so we're really encouraging people, because really, I mean, it, it, it sounds harsh in a way, but there's almost no other way to do it. We really want to assure that everyone has the opportunity to a attend the Divine Liturgy. So in order to do that, we're really asking that people, uh, there's uh, surveys near the bulletins, um, and a preference of one, two, or three, and your family name and a, a phone number or email if, if, if you're not uh, already uh, in our database. And so uh, we'll need your family name regardless. And then you can leave it in the collection basket. Uh, so again, we, we uh, really want to accommodate everyone and, um, and liturgy will be much more comfortable uh, inside. And so uh, we're looking forward to that. And of course, our, our, uh, d our, we have two deacons. Some may not know that, but uh, the one deacon has been home um, but he, uh, he melts under, under normal air conditioning. So he said, he said, Father, there's no way I can even serve liturgy outside. He, we, were, we were joking about getting him an ice vest and a, uh, an air conditioner around the neck, you know, but I don't even think that would do it. So uh, anyway, so uh, please, uh, before you leave, uh, fill out those uh, surveys, or if you don't want to touch the paper, you can take a picture of it and email it. Uh, uh, you know, our email's on the website. Um, also, and so we're going to, uh, another thing too, is we're looking for, uh, uh, volunteers to be part of our, our streaming thing, our streaming team, because uh, we really need, as you may have noticed, last night, if anyone watched, tried to watch the Vesperal Liturgy, well, I forgot to put a, one of the, the equipment on and there was no <laughs> audio. So, I mean, you know, I can't do everything. So we, we, uh, we're, we're looking for some volunteers to train, uh, some reliable volunteers to train uh, for that. Um, also, let's see here. And then immediately after liturgy, we're going to have a Panahida, um, for Bogdan Petrick, uh, the father of uh, deacon candidate George Petrick, fell asleep in the Lord this past week, and so we will pray for his repose and blessed memory um, after the dismissal. All right, please have a blessed uh, week of Pentecost. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and to the, the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ our true God, who for our salvation sent down the all Holy Spirit from heaven in tongues of fire upon his holy disciples and apostles, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother and of our holy father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Amen.
Reverend Father, give a blessing. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever and forever. of our sins, Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, come to us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. With the souls of the just brought to perfection, give rest, O Savior, to the soul of your servant. Keeping him for the blessed life with you, for you love us all. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest to the soul of your to the Holy Spirit. You are the God who descended into Hades and loosed the bonds of those imprisoned there. Now, O Savior, give rest to the souls of your servants. Now and ever, and forever, amen. Virgin, uniquely pure and immaculate, without seed you gave birth to God. Intercede for the salvation of the soul, of your servant. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Bogdan, and that is every transgression, voluntary and involuntary, be forgiven. May the Lord commit his soul to the place where the just repose. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the mercy of God, and for the kingdom of heaven, and for the remission of his sins, let us beseech Christ, the immortal King and our God. Grant this, o Lord. Let us pray to the God of spirits and of all flesh, you trampled death and broke the power of the devil and granted life to your world. Now grant rest, O Lord, to the soul of your departed servant Bogdan in a place of light, joy, and peace where there is no pain, sorrow, nor mourning. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin committed by him in word, deed, or thought, since there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone are without sin. Your justice is eternal justice, and your word is truth. For you, O Christ, our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Bogdan. And we give glory to you with your eternal Father and your all-holy, good and life-creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Wisdom. Cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, who a virgin gave birth to God the Word, you truly the Theotokos we magnify. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, now and, and ever, ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, who rules over the living and the dead, place the soul of his departed servant in the abode of the just, and grant him rest in the bosom of Abraham, and number him among the just. Have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, and of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, and through the prayers of all the saints. For Christ is good and loves us all. Amen. In blessed repose, grant, O Lord, eternal rest to your departed servant, Bogdan, and remember him forever. Eternal memory. Eternal Blessed repose, eternal memory, Vishnaya Pamyat, Vishnaya Pamyat, Blajeni Pokoi, Vishnaya
Uh, just because we don't know exactly how this is going to go, uh, we'll bless the food now for those that are having their lunch here. All right, I'll, we'll do the, the simple, the simple blessing. Okay. May the poor eat and be satisfied. May those who seek the face of the Lord be filled, and may their hearts live forever. Christ our God, bless this food and drink for your servants, for you are holy now and ever and forever. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O God. Lord my God, I thank you, for you have not rejected me, a sinner, but have made me worthy to be a partaker of your holy mysteries. I thank you for allowing me, unworthy as I am, to be a partaker of your most pure and heavenly gifts. O Lord, who love us all, you died and rose for our sake and you have given us these awesome and life-creating mysteries for the benefit and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Grant that they may bring about the enlightenment of my, the healing of my soul and body, the defeat of every enemy, the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, the calming of my thoughts and emotions, a faith that cannot be confounded, a love that does not pretend, a wisdom that overflows, the full observance of your commandments, the increase of your divine grace and citizenship in your kingdom. Being preserved in your holiness by them, I will remember your love at all times. I will no longer live for myself, but for you, my Lord and benefactor. Thus, having spent my earthly life in the hope of life without end, I will attain eternal rest where the sound of rejoicing never ceases, where the delight of those who gaze upon the beauty of your face cannot be expressed. For you, Christ our God, are our true desire and the inexpressible joy of those who love you and all creation glorifies you forever. Amen. 